Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 5 of the Misfit of the Demon King Academy today. And it was really awesome to see how Anus was able to save both Sasha and Misha. It's something that of course made me really happy. Um, and um, it's um, it's something that really amazed me, this uh, development um, about the situation between um, the two sisters. So it's something that um, I was like... It was a big mystery at first, and uh, like seeing how Sasha was tre uh, treating uh, uh, Misha, uh, it made me wonder what um, was actually happening between the two of them. Um, but uh, after these um, these revelations, everything became um, a lot more clear. So it's now understandable why Misha was um, like why Sasha uh, was being so mean um, uh, to Misha. She she really. Like, she actually wanted uh, Misha to hate her so she could uh, be successful with, um, with um, her plan of uh, sacrificing herself to give this life, um, like, to enable Misha to, um, to live uh, from now on while uh, 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 Sasha would uh, disappear. Um, but yeah, in the end, um, of course, that was really... That was like... Um, a really good thing from uh, Sasha. I mean, she she was just like really caring about uh, um, her sister. So that's of course something uh, that uh, I liked from her. But uh, at the same time, um, I didn't want her to sacrifice uh, herself. So I'm really glad that things um, happened this way. That Anus was uh, able to um, to save uh, both um, of them. Um, and now um, I wonder what is going to happen next. I'm already um, like excited because um, there's probably going to be some really sweet moments uh, between um, Sasha and Misha from now on, since there won't be like um, this situation um, anymore. Like Sasha won't uh, have to like think about it um, anymore, and neither does uh, uh, Misha. So from now on, they can actually spend uh, the rest of days as uh, like actual sisters and having um, a good relationship. So that's something that, um, of course, uh, I'm excited um, uh, to watch. Um, and um, there was also this situation with Anu. So in the middle of all of this, he actually had to fight against um, uh, Ivy's, but uh, in the end, uh, he learned about uh, the fact that it wasn't actually Ivy's um, like doing it. It was someone else uh, um, uh, controlling uh, his body. So this um, once again um, makes me wonder about um, what is going on. Who exactly is uh, uh, trying to um, like become uh, this um, this demon king? Like uh, wants uh, to replace um, Anos pretty much and like be. It's not only about replacing him, but also changing uh, history and uh, like the the names and everything. So it's something that I'm really curious about. And again, just really can't wait to find out about it um, during these um, next uh, uh, moments. So hope you guys are ready and let's start this episode. Who's this one? Is that an... Hydra? Damn! I wonder, when is this happening? Was this in in the past? Ooh. Is he actually going to do it? Yeah, this must have happened um, two thousand years ago, right? Or even more, because. A thousand years ago was when that thing happened, so... This was before that, most likely. Shin. Hmm. 
Damn. Damn. The intensity of his attacks, though. The transfer student. Is it going to be that guy, Shin? I mean, there must be a reason why they showed this, so. And now they're doing this. It should look the same, so... Wait, that sounds really... Hmm... Sure... They're definitely... Into something. Oh, damn. I like her. Oh, is he going to do something? It was this guy? It was actually there? How? This, she was also in it, it really felt like that. They're definitely up to something. It's like a lot of these guys are involved with it. Oh. <laughs> That's really nice. It's always sad to see di discrimination no matter... No matter where. Well, yeah. Oh. I know Sven Union. <laughs> Interesting name. There's a statue of him. <laughs> oh no. 
Is he getting his own uh, his own arm at this point? Holy! <laughs> They're really excited. Um, okay then. Is that their version of an anti-book? <laughs> Man, this is so unexpected. Is that, is that a sword? Looks like it. Hmm. I like the design of it. Oh, it's only one elf. Yeah, as it should be. So they all want to join him. I really like this, what they're fighting for. Ooh. What are those words, though? Oh, so it's something that is already a thing there. I was wondering if it was Anos creating those or to test them. Um <laughs> Oh, that one. Ooh. It did that only by looking at it. Damn. Someone else did it. Did it. Is that it? Is this Shin? It should be right. I can't remember the exact appearance before. But he also used a sword, so... It would make sense that he could take that out. Hmm. Ray. I still feel like it's supposed to be Shin from before, but they mentioned that you would have no memories or anything, so it's like a completely different person. But 
But it's like Shin Reborn. It's just with no memories. Might be wrong though. Need to keep watching. Oh my god. Holy. Oh, so this is what happened before. They're like together trying to prove. They worthy of being in his team. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really curious about this guy. I hope something gets revealed during this episode. Like cleared up. Hmm. Exactly. Need to build a castle? Oh, she's using that ring. Damn, that's really sick. Just like that. Yeah, that's what I... ...sucked. Ooh. Ooh. They're building something too? Are those like golems? It's going for the castle. They're inside? Is going with the stick. Okay then. Ooh. Unless they actually can now. They're doing that thing from before, right? But only the two of them. 
Let's see how strong it is. Ooh. Oh, damn, it opened the hole. That worked perfectly. Oh. That's what I was thinking about, like what happened before must have um, made them stronger. Ooh. Actually wondering, oh, she's pretty injured. Damn, that was cool. Ooh. Hey, this is what I wanted to see. Them together. Like, working together. Secret technique? Ooh! It's like fire and eyes! That was impressive. I like that combination of both elements. Oh, it's still not over. Is that Anos and Ray? Is it like escalating more and more? Like, the more they keep fighting against each other? The music again? Oh, it's the opening, right? There was no opening during this episode, so... I wonder what could give it away. Maybe Anos already knows it's supposed to be Shin. Hmm. I mean, it's only been 2,000 years, right? Ooh. He actually cut the sword with that? Okay, then. <laughs> This branch was also cut, which is like less impressive. <laughs> yeah, this. You're finally saying it.
I mean, it was impressive what he did, so... It's not like he had to win, right? He just had to prove that he was good enough, and he is, so... Hey, that was really cool. And I'm glad they... They confirmed it. Who he really was. Sometimes it's hard for me to be sure about it. Like, I have the feeling that it is how I'm thinking. But it's... Uh, it's not that hard to be wrong, so... But yeah, it really was... It, or, like, it really is, uh, like, Shin. Of course, now it's Rei, because it's, again, like, Shin Reborn, but as a completely new person, without memories or anything. So, yeah, it's like, some of these things are a bit uh, complicated, and sometimes I'm not even too sure about how to address them. It, it was definitely interesting to see this specific situation. How they show that moment at the start of the episode. Yeah, now I see that it's, it's, it's this guy. I have still yet to see. Uh, it's canon, right? The name of the hero. Not too sure. I might need to go back. I'm also going back just to see how Shin looked like. I guess it looked it looked a bit different, right? At least like the air style and such. Not too sure if he also had blue eyes or not. It's hard to find the. I guess it was completely different, actually. I don't know why I had the feeling instantly. I guess it's just because, like, they showed this relationship between um, Anos and uh, Shin, and then, uh, like, showing the hero as well. So, of course, uh, by going back to the present and saying that there was, like, um, a, a transfer student and, uh, like, this guy showing up um, um, as well, uh, it instantly made me, like, connect everything, right? I mean, they showed this backstory um, for um, a reason. So, again, it was definitely a really nice way of doing it. And um, it clearly looks like uh, he's going to be part of the team. And I don't know about the others. I mean, the next episode is probably going to reveal um, what's going to happen um, to this team. What Anus is going to um, decide on doing. Um, but yeah, it's been um, interesting to learn more about um, like these relationships uh, yet uh, before with different people 2,000 years uh, um, ago. So now um, there's um, this guy, so it's, again, not going to be literally the same one as before, but it's like uh, reincarnated and uh, as, a, a, as a different uh, uh, person. But um, it's like, uh, it's kind of going to be like before, is is going to be once again together with um, with uh, uh, with um, Anno. So that's uh, definitely really awesome seeing um, the two of them together again. I mean, it it instantly looked like they were quite close to each other. So now they are kind of reunited. Um, but um, then again, there's also this thing about um, the Euro um, canon ex exactly. So they implied before. That um, he could be like a uh, reborn um, right now as well, like just like what happened uh, with um, with Anus, how he was born like uh, one month ago. The same thing um, uh, probably happened with Canon. So I'm just uh, curious to find out about um, uh, to find out more um, about that. So I want um, to um, to see like Canon during this. Um, during this time, like at the present time, I'm not too sure if, um, just like with uh, Anos, uh, if he's going to look exactly the same um, as he did before um, or not. Because as far as I remember, or like 
not as far as I remember. It's uh, it's even hard to remember. Uh, like if um, someone who looks like him uh, already showed up during some of these episodes, like not exactly focusing on him, but if maybe someone resembling him uh, was already like wandering uh, in this place or something. I don't know if that would be possible in the end because this is still um, like the place where this uh, Demon Academy is. It's still. Um, like the demon's place, right? I believe this world was like divided in some places so they can live uh, um, in peace, uh, each of them in their own place. So I guess Canon, um, I don't think he would be reborn in this place, right? But uh, in another side uh, of, uh, like, in another part of this world. So this is something I'm not too sure about. It's um, still a bit uh, complicated for me uh, to memorize uh, all of these things and how everything is. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting uh, everything to eventually be um, cleared up and for everything to start making uh, um, a lot uh, more sense. Um, and uh, also looking forward to see um, where this story uh, is going. For now, the uh, dual objective of Anos uh, was to make, uh, like, create peace in this world for there not to be uh, any more war wars between um, like demons and uh, uh, humans. Um, but um, it's still, um, like, there's, like, uh, more than that at this point. Uh, like, there was, like, this, uh, this war between humans and demons uh, at first, like, 2,000 years um, ago. Um, but now, even after what happened with, uh, like, demons doing their thing and humans also doing their thing, I'm assuming, um, there's still, uh, like, like divided factions or so to say in in the demons uh, side so there's this thing about uh, um, the pure blooded and then the, the others uh, who aren't so it's like they no matter the race it's like they always find a way to to divide people and to to have this uh, discrimination so it's something that always makes me really sad because it's it's something uh, really wrong to just uh, put others aside because of uh, like their bloodline or like the way they look it it, it just doesn't really make sense um, uh, to me so yeah it's um, it's something that i hope that um, with uh, anos help that they improve in this place and like we already saw the the other girls they even created this uh, uh, specific um, like group to try and fight against this to make it so everyone is united in this place so that's already a really good thing and i hope that um, they are successful uh, with that so i don't know what they're going to have to deal with but considering what happened before how that uh, teacher was actually involved with um, with like pretending that uh, the staff got stolen uh, it's uh, it's really showing that they are going to have to um, to like be careful with um, a lot of people in this academy because a lot of them like uh, mostly uh, staff uh, they're probably going to be involved with um, this uh, this guy who's trying to to be to be like the the new demon king or so to say I, i'm not too sure how to how to explain it but pretty much the, the guy anos uh is um, looking for the one like pretending to be him but going by uh, a different name and everything like just a similar one um but yeah it's all things that um i'm uh, probably going to find out about um, sooner um, or later so just really can't wait to um, to see what's going to happen during uh, the next uh, episode so with this just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and you can also join my discord and my patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one